as I've said, you make the world's best tamales. <laughs> oh. She should be called the tamale queen of Sierra <laughs> County. Uh, and that's not to say that you don't make good other Mexican food, especially sopa pias. Uh, but you, tell us the story of you making, learning to make tamales. Well, we used to live in Arizona, when a lot of us working over there at the, at the mine, because they had a contract working over there. And I belonged to this woman club, I don't, I don't even know what it was called. It was a club where the, we learned how to cook and sew and, and border and all that stuff, you know. So one time they said we were going to make tamales. I never knew how to make tamales. I didn't even know. I knew how to eat them, but that's it. <laughs> Uh, so then, that's where I learned how to make the ballet. So then, one time we were coming home for Christmas, you know, and, uh, and I was going to make the ballet to bring home. And we had a big flood that we couldn't go to Dunkin' or go to Morancy to get anything. So how you know how I did it? I put on foil. Oh, I stroked up in the foil and cooked it, you know. Instead of the, the, uh, the instead of the the oh, husk, what do you call yeah, it? the husks, the husks, husk. Uh, husk. Uh, yeah. Husk. Yeah. yeah. Well, you you said too that it kept you all from starving many a times because <laughs> you you were able to make and sell, uh, sell tamales. What is the most tamales that you've ever made in one setting? At first, when I started, I used to bake, but I don't. I know I was over here one time, and you were making tamales and for your granddaughter's My wedding. My granddaughter's wedding, yeah. And it was something to the... Uh, it was about 40 dozens, yeah. 40 or 50 dozens. 40 or 50 dozens. And then I made, I made, I made, and she got married in December, yeah. And I made, I don't know how, how many dozens I made to sell, you know. I had my customers. Yes. <laughs> Uh, and if I didn't, I said they used to call me, aren't you making the ballads? <laughs> Probably hundreds of thousands of tamales that she's made, so she ought to be good at it. Yeah. Have you come up with another question? Uh, tell me when you made your tamales, uh, what did you put inside them? What, what was your secret ingredients for inside them? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not supposed to say that. <laughs> It's a secret. It's a secret. <laughs> yeah. She makes like my salsa. Remember, everybody thinks my I made the best salsa. You know, and uh, I had calls the people that she, the, for me to make salsa. But we had the cafe here, and I used to go buy the salsa like nobody. I didn't have nothing. I just put <laughs> just put the jalapenos, the tomatoes, garlic, and salt. That's all I did. But I don't know why everybody thought that was the best salsa. Just the por proportions you put in, I guess. Mm -hmm. Well, how do you make your red enchilada sauce? I just uh, clean my chili, soak it in water, and uh, and uh, put it in the bladder, and that's it. And no secret, no secret to that. No, I don't think it. But I don't know why. Even my uh, my granddaughter, there were, and her family was here Sunday. They were coming from Albuquerque, and she said. I said, do you want me to fix supper? You can eat supper with me. And she said, yeah. What are you going to make us, Grandma? Because I, I make this uh, soup. We call it papa cocadito. You know, it's uh, potatoes with meat. Cause she loves that. Nobody makes it like I do. So then I said, I have some blue corn tortillas that I bought some. Do you want she loves? Yeah. And she told me, you, nobody makes the, the red chili like you. But I, I don't do anything. It's just like... But you kind of know what you're doing. But it does. You're always your special. Yeah. yeah, I don't know. It, and my tamales, it's, it's just a, like everybody makes it. Just the pork. I cook my pork. And that's it. It's just the way you put it together that yeah. makes it so yeah. special. And just, that's it, I guess. Yeah. Put my chili. Uh -huh. And that's it. I, my son, Peewee, is making tamales now. This is starting to see her making tamales just for the house, you know. And my granddaughter, the one who's in Christmas, says, 
he is so, he makes us so much just right. They don't mess or nothing. They're just per how can I say perfect or no? I don't know how it's the word she uses. Well, I, I'll have to eat one before I can tell you if they're, they're as good as yours. <laughs> <laughs> Now you talked about Benji. Now Benji was your was Benji your your cousin or Benji was your brother or no one my stepbrother. Your stepbrother was he the one that was killed a couple of years yes. ago up there mm -hmm. when he was retired yeah. state police. He was retired state police, right? Yeah. Yeah. And did he he lived in Cachillo too? He was raised there as well. Yeah, we we were all raised, and that's when we grow up, you know. He moved to Albuquerque, and I moved over here, and, <laughs> and uh, my sister, uh, yeah, my sister moved to Albuquerque and work over there too, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's what, it was like a brother to me, you know? Mm -hmm. how, how many of the people that live in Cachillo now are family to you? Nobody. Nobody. Do you still own land there? No. 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 We, we used to. We used to own it, but then my husband, one year we, we planned it, because we had a little house there too, you know, mm -hmm. he planned, he had a lot of vegetables and everything, and now some cows, or I don't know what, we had a lot of trees came, because we didn't live there, we used to go on the weekends, mm -hmm. ate everything, and he got so bad, he sold everything. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's enough of that farming. Yeah. 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 Well, what did Lalo's folks do there? They live up the canyon too. They have their own farm there. Their own and farm. Thing. Yeah. Comparing Cachillo today to years past, it's changed. Oh God. Which would you, which do you prefer, the old or the, the new? The old one. The old one. Now the houses are nicer. You know they have nice houses, nice house trailers and everything. But when we were young, to us, it was the best place to live. <laughs> well, you said not long ago that you were poor, but you weren't poor yeah. when you were growing up. Yeah, we thought we were poor, but we weren't poor. That's right. You had a lot of family and a lot of good times. Good times, yeah. yeah good times, yeah. I think all our little towns around have changed. Oh, yeah. You know, Monticello them. isn't the same, and Hillsboro isn't the same, so... Yeah. But Cuchillo is the worst. It, they call it now the ghost town. Now there's not too many people living here. <laughs> Do you remember the Zamoras? Do you remember the Zamora? Was there any Zamoras that lived in Cuchillo? No. They, they live in Winston. Oh, did they? Okay. Yeah. They all would live in Winston. Uh -huh. The Zamoras I remember. Uh -huh. Do you remember who had, or did your family ever talk about who had the stage? The stage line through there? No, I don't remember. I mean, Maybe they did, but I don't remember. Well, that would have been probably your grandparents yeah. when they were living there. They would have remembered that. So The, the, the other thing you were asking me about my parents, my great-grandfather, my dad's, my dad grandfather came from Spain. Oh. He came through directly from Spain. And his first, he was a Sanchez? Mm -hmm. And his first name? I don't know. <laughs> you know, it's funny now. Now I, I wish I could have l know a lot of things like that, but I don't know. Mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. What brought him from Spain I don't know. to Cachillo? I, I think it's what they, they did want. It said there was a ship or boat or they came with a lot of people from over there or something. And I think he came with that. And I don't know how he got to Cachillo. Mm -hmm. And what brought him there? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I really don't know. Did what you, does cuchillo mean? A knife. And, and it was originally called cuchillo negro. Cuchillo negro. negro. A yeah. black knife. A black knife. Yeah. And it was after. After an Indian, I think, wasn't it? I think it was the black knife Indians. Yeah, wasn't I it? think mm -hmm. so. But they had the war there and everything. I don't yeah. know. Did your family ever talk about the Spanish, the I mean, the Indian farming program that was in that area? No, they never did. What about the CCC camp? Ooh, boo, that was neat. The <laughs> CCC camp. Uh, you know for, for that. You know where Miss Bechtel lives. 
they have that little garage, like a garage. Mm -hmm. That was their school, but no, but they throw the school there. There was an old school, and then the road, I don't know if you noticed, there's a road close from there that comes from up the hill. There was six camp up there the, in the flats. And, well, I was too young then, but the older girls, they went crazy with the city camp boys. <laughs> 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 uh, there were a big crop coming. They all came, you know. And, and we were in recess, was, you know, and everybody, oh, the city camp are coming. <laughs> <laughs> well, would they come to towns? And, oh, and yeah, they used to come to the death, but I was too young then, you know. Darn. <laughs> <laughs> well, old, my cousin, my older cousin has boyfriends from the city camp. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah, it was a big deal there. Yeah, they, they would come to Cotillo or wherever there was a dance, I oh, guess, yeah. on Saturday night. They uh -huh. would. Well, how often did you go to Monticello? Or I didn't go that much. Well, no. If there was something special, you'd go... I really don't, I guess, you know, well, maybe after, after my dad got married, after my mother died, he got married to a lady from Placita. We used to go to Placita a lot, but not to the mother's salon. What about Winston? Yeah, I used to go to Winston, but that not that. So we didn't go that much, you know. Just if there was a reason to go, probably. Yeah, if there was a reason to go, we used to go, yeah. Well, does anybody else have any? Question? No? <laughs> well, thank you. That was just wonderful. <laughs> I, I, I could have had more qu questions because I threw a bunch of them away, but I didn't know how long it was going to take. So, thank you. We appreciate this very, very much. Okay, I, I enjoyed it. Good. Good. Yeah. Uh, see, I told you I wouldn't do anything that would be